project is going to use a worsted weight for yarn. I'm using this 100% cotton yarn. And then you'll need a 6mm crochet hook or a J. So first we're going to start out with a slip knot. So we're going to wrap it around and then pull the length of the yarn from above down through the loop and pull it. Then just stick your hook through the loop and pull it tight. First we're going to chain 15. This will be our foundation. Now we're going to skip the first chain and working in that second chain, we're going to start to double crochet across. To double crochet, you're going to yarn over, put your hook through your work, Yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop on the hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Okay, so now we've got row one complete. We should have 15 double crochets and we're counting our chain at the beginning as a double crochet. So we're gonna chain two, which will count as our first double crochet. Now we're gonna do one double crochet in each stitch across. You'll notice that you have three loops at the top of each double crochet, and we're going to stitch through all three of those. So you're going right between each double crochet.
Okay, so there is two rows finished. Again, each row will have 15 stitches and we do count the chain two at the beginning as our first stitch. So moving on to row three, we're gonna continue with a chain two and then one double crochet in each across just like we have been doing. So moving on to our final row, we're going to repeat this process again doing a chain two and double crochet in each stitch across. This will be our final row. Okay, so we've got all of our rows complete. Now we're going to make a border around the whole thing to kind of finish it off and give it a nice finished professional appearance. So we're going to do a chain one and then we're going to single crochet around the entire piece. When going down the side, I try to do about two single crochet for each row. So you'll have approximately eight stitches going down each side. The number of stitches does not matter though, so if you don't come up with 8 stitches, don't worry. Now we're working across the bottom of the piece. When working across the bottom, I'm going between each double crochet. I'm not working in the bottom loop of the foundation chain. Now I'm working up the opposite side, and again, I try to do about two single crochet per row. Okay, so now we've reached back to the top and we're going to be doing a single crochet across the top, picking up all three of the loops.
so now we're back at that chain one so we're going to do a slip stitch into that chain now our piece has a nice finished border all the way around so we're going to go ahead and finish that off when cutting your yarn you're going to want to leave about a 12 inch tail because you're going to be using this to make the center of your bow tie So here is our rectangular piece of work that we have and we're going to thread the end of our long tail through a tapestry needle and what we need to do is get that yarn to come out the center of the back of our piece. So we're going to start by going down the edge and then across through the middle till we get there to the center. Make sure that you're working on the back of your piece. I'm going to weave this tail down between the second and third row. And then we're just going to bring it across till we get to the center. So if you're not sure if you're quite to the center yet or not, you can fold your piece in half. And you can see we still have about one more stitch to go across, so I'm just going to pull that on over one more stitch. Alright, so now we are at the very center of our piece. We're going to go ahead and flip it over so we're looking at the front. Now we're going to fold it ham or hot dog style backwards so that the back sides are together. Then fold the top forward and the bottom forward so it's kind of folded in quarter pieces in the middle. This forms a nice even bow tie. Now you're going to use that long tail that we cut off to wrap around the center. Try to make it as even and centered as possible. You can continue to wrap until you like the look of it. If you want a really big center, then you can leave your tail longer and wrap it more times. Mine's kind of average size, I guess. Then once you get towards the end of your yarn you're gonna turn your piece over to the back and then you're just gonna use your tapestry needle to bring it through itself and give it a little knot I like to do a couple of these just to make sure it's secured And then later on when we're finished, we'll go ahead and weave in the rest of that piece. So now our bow tie is complete. We just need to put the actual necktie onto our bow. So 
So with your length of yarn, you're now going to make another slip knot and put it on your hook. We're going to do a chain 80. This bow tie is meant to fit um, infants and toddlers, small children. So if you want to use this bow tie for a larger child, you would add more stitches here. Once you've completed 80 chains, you're going to go back to the beginning of your chains and put your tail onto your tapestry needle. Then you're going to take your bow and flip it over to the back side. We're going to pull this chain through that center of the bow tie. Sometimes this can be tricky if you've done your cen the center of your bow a little bit snug. It may be difficult to get your chains through there, so it may take a little bit of work. Be gentle. You don't want to break your yarn, so just wiggle it until it pulls through. And you're just going to want to pull it through until both sides look to be about the same length. Okay, so now to finish, we're going to do a single crochet in each chain, heading back towards that bow tie.
Okay, so once you get back to the center of your bow, instead of doing a single crochet, we're going to do a slip stitch across it to our next chain. Now we're going to continue to single crochet all the way to the end of this piece. And then into the last stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch. Then we're going to finish off and cut our yarn. So now our bow tie is finished. We just have to weave in all of our pieces and it will be ready to go. So I've already weaved in most of my ends, this is my last piece, and when weaving in the ends on the strings, what I like to do is go through about five single crochets. And then I like to turn it back and go back this in the opposite direction about three stitches. and then trim the yarn nice and close to the piece. And then we are finished. Our bow tie is complete and it looks great. The ends will go around the neck to the back and you can tie it. So there it is. Um, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and I'll see you in the next one.